Hello, I'm back. Yes, I got the same clothes and these same goggles on. But it's another video y'all gonna get. Same outfit though. I made them back to back. I wanna show y'all a gun I got. This. This is my first revolver. Now the last video I made, I'm gonna show you it showed the first gun I ever bought. Nine millimeter carbine. High point. This is six gun I bought, I think. It's a revolver, my first revolver. I've shot revolvers. I shot revolvers. I've shot revolvers. Maybe not that many times to keep saying it. But I've shot revolvers and this is a revolver. Yes, I put it out of my pocket. I pocket carry that's up to you if you want to do just be careful it took me a long time to get comfortable with keeping one in the head when i pocket carry and i guess with a revolver you kind of got a choice but you really don't you only you only got five shots in my situation so you can leave one out and keep four but no but and i'm talking about it took me a long time to get comfortable with my uh semi-automatics but still I pocket carry, so I don't care what y'all think. Now, this is a Taurus. Now, technically, this is the fifth gun I bought, but I'm gonna say six because this is the bad about this gun. Let me say what it is, and I'll get into all that. I don't know how far or close I am, but this is a revolver, 357. Now, let me tell y'all something. If 357 revolver can also shoot 38 special rounds, you can shoot either one, you can mix them up interchangeably, but any gun, uh, uh, a revolver, a 357, 357 Magnum on it, or if that's what it is, can also shoot 38 special rounds. Now this is a Taurus 605 polymer. Now I don't know if technically it's called a hog nose or a snub nose, but it's a short barrel revolver. It's real short. That means I'm going to call it a hog nose or a snub. I'm going to call it a hog nose. This is a hog nose. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's plastic. It ain't cost much. It's a three, three fifty to $400 gun. But I got it. It's cool as brown. I ain't never had no brown gun, but I got a 357 Magnum and a 38 Special. I got two guns in one for cheap. Now look. It shoot five, I don't know how close I am. Five rounds in there, that's all you got. That's one of the downsides of a revolver. And if y'all can see, there's no marks on the rear sights, but the front sight has, it's really, I ain't gonna cap, it's kinda cheap. It's just a little plastic, don't even know if this is a word, iridescent? I don't even know if that's the proper word, but it's just a little plastic thing so you can line up, but It does have a hammer on it, double action. See when you pull it back, that's single action. Double action is squeeze me hard, single action, it barely squeeze me at all. Now, I got two type of rounds I'ma shoot. These are, what are the box set? I got the box somewhere, here it go. These are I can't properly pronounce Hor Hornati Hornady Hornati Critical Defense loaded with patent FTX bullet. That's the little red stuff at the end. But they are a hollow point style bullet. Supposed to be self-defense. And these are 38 specials. Now I have a few. Let me check my time on my camera. I do have a few 357s though. I will bust a few of these. Maybe oh, just a few. Hollow point as well. I can't tell what brand, uh, brand and all that because I purchased them elsewhere. But you might be able to see a little difference. But this is a 38 Special. 
which is less power than the 357. That's why I wanted both. I have the option. If I want to shoot 357s, I can, I can, which is this. A more powerful round. Still powerful, but less powerful than this, or I can shoot 38 Special. Now, only thing, one thing about a short barrel gun, period, but especially a short hog nose revolver with a big 357 round or any round, but really a 357. You'll get some kick. Now, how much kick? I don't know. I've literally never shot this gun before. It's my first time shooting this specific revolver with any type of round. But I might get a lot of kick. And another thing about it is the bad about this gun. Now, you're really not supposed to dry fire any gun. But one day I was, you know, just being crazy at home, just spending no, no ammo in there. I'd had no ammo for this gun. I'm just playing around with it. That's why I'm kind of scared to dry fire it. But, you know, I bought it and it messed up. You will lock it, it would not lock. The uh, revolving chamber would just keep spinning. You couldn't squeeze the trigger, you couldn't slide the hammer back, nothing. So I had to send it back to Taurus. Once again, this is Taurus 605 Polymer. Polymer stands for plastic polymer. But, I had to send it to him. Took him about a week and a half, two weeks. I got it back. Now I'm putting my 38 special. Y'all can see rounds in here. I'm gonna go shoot it. Five rounds. I got my glasses right here. Now, like I said, it's a revolver. This is hot. It's ready. Keep your finger not on the trigger when you ain't shooting. Let me not do that. I don't want nobody to say that. He caught me the wrong way. But I'm not the best shooter. I'm practicing. I'm a shooter in double. I always like double action shooting. That's five rounds. That's five rounds. That's five rounds with some kick. It ain't really, me personally, I might feel it later. It wasn't too much kick in my hand. But it was kick enough when it shoot off. It shoot off. Now, I got a few. Well, I think I, I ain't trying to shoot all my bullets out. Cause I ain't gonna lie. It'd be hard to find a bullet. I got... I'm a mixed match. I think I'm gonna shoot. Well, uh oh. I got three 357 Magnum rounds in here. I'm gonna put two of those same, same, same uh, 38 special in there. I'm gonna shoot 38 special. 357, 38. I mean, 38 special. It's five shots. I'm going to shoot a 38 special, a 357, a 38, 350, 350. Uh -oh. Now, I got some more targets. Yes, it's hot. I'm knowing. I'm not going to shoot. All I got is glass liquor, but I want to shoot behind. I want to shoot this Bailey's Irish Cream. If I can hit, I want to shoot. I want to shoot this Jack Dan. Nah, yeah, nah. I want to shoot this baby for strong if I can hit. It's not. That's what I'm out here for to show y'all. special in this glass wine bottle you see it went right there but it just it's glass anyway it's gonna bust it but it's it's over with now you see i ain't too far away we can see if i'm gonna hit 
or not. My ears ring in like a sun bitch. So the way I chambered it, that fucking 357 must have shot off first, cause baby. Baby. That motherfucker. Them 38 specials ain't have my ears ringing, but hey. Let me go pick this. Nothing in here, y'all. That's 357, and yes, if y'all can see, the kick was way. You gotta. I ain't gonna lie. When I was just shooting them 38s, I'm just. I'm holding it. I ain't really trip. I'm just boom, boom, boom. Them 357s, I'm out there. First one caught me off guard, so I shot. Oh shoot. Then I readjusted my grip. If you can see, cause bam, bam. Another thing, you can change the grip out on this gun for a two, like a two finger grip. I don't like that. I got big hands. I didn't hit the baby patron though. I did not. I'm gonna save it till next go around. You can see some of the wrapper. This ain't shit. I don't know. I think I hit this bit with a 357. I don't know. But it went in, must have went in right here. And this inside, this is it's just glass. It's bust. It's over with. It's over with. It's just glass gone. So, and now you see. And now I know personally from a, a little mature sense, 357 busts off. That's not a lot. So, thank y'all for watching. Subscribe. Go to Granddaddy Loves Cars. That's my other channel. Thank y'all for watching. Just uh, like it, comment, share it, all that stuff, and come back because I'm going to shoot this some more. I'm going to shoot all my guns some more. Ready what it is. Thank y'all. I'll pray to the Lord above.